with Islamophobia. Islamophobia. Term. I mean, so Islam- he, one yeah. one of the guys he brought on, he comes up with this ridiculous idea that uh, Islamophobia, uh, you know, it, it was invented by the Muslim Brotherhood, right? right? Yeah, and it actually, the term started as you may or may not know. It started with the Muslim Brotherhood uh, and a very smart strategy, and it's just this term so that no one's allowed to criticize Islam. And that's not the point. You go to any university, you know, in in America, and there's articles, criti- you know, criticizing Islam or whatever it is, right? But it's done in a respectful academic manner. It's not done in a hostile manner. There's a difference between that. This idea of uh, Islamophobia being invented by the Muslim Brotherhood, uh, first of all, so what if it was? But but what, what what they're trying to say is that you know we should be scared of them. We should we should have this fear of what's going on. This is a complete, you know, this is a hoax, basically. Someone came up with this random idea. Islamophobia is a term that's been used for a hundred years. It, one of its earliest appearances was used in a, a book written about the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in French. So in 1918, they were using the term Islamophobia in French um, throughout the 20s, throughout the 30s. Uh, it started to become more prevalent in the 70s and the 80s and specifically after September 11th and with you know rising Islamophobia that came out this is so basic fact checking that he could have gone he could have gone to and I'm not even going to advertise the website Robert Spencer is a guy who hates Muslims to the core he's like ma- the, like the the king of Islamophobes basically this guy had to come out with an article saying look guys we shouldn't make this argument because it has absolutely no basis whatsoever so if there was fact checking going on, and I hope you know he goes back and double checks this, this is just a false theory. So we shouldn't just keep throwing out all these red herrings, which are which are false, just to distract people, you know, away from the topic. Yeah, and that's not that's not being uh, in, intellectually, uh, uh, intellectually approaching the the topic, and it's not being genuine. And I think yeah. I think Joe, I mean, I hope that this you know gets to him, and we know some of the same people also, and. And I, I hope that uh, he can he can take a turn towards the better, and, and be more genuine in, in covering this because it's something that that does like you said affect the lives of so many people. So mm-hmm. many people have because of Islamophobia, the hate machine. Mm-hmm. Mosques are being burned down. Yeah. People are being killed. Leaders in the Chicago area demand a hate crime investigation after three Muslim students were killed in North Carolina this week. The students were shot in the head Tuesday in their apartment complex. It's a very disturbing note filled with hate was found next to her. At 11.15 in the morning, the teen walks into the family's Skyview Street home to find two things. Evidence of some kind of break-in in in the rear of the home and her mother in a pool of blood on the dining room floor. Next to her mother, she says, is a hateful note to the effect of, go back to your native country. Several U.S. cities' investigations are underway into possible hate crimes against Muslims. DeMarco Morgan is following this. Surveillance video shows a suspect punching, kicking, and stomping on a Muslim teenager in Brooklyn, New York. The beating took place outside a mosque during a midnight prayer service. Graphic pictures show how badly the teen and his friend were beaten. The mosque is urging police to investigate the attack as a hate crime. One of the victims says the attacker called him a terrorist as he kicked him. In Minneapolis, police are also investigating the recent shooting of two Muslim men as a possible hate crime. This weekend, authorities in Florida arrested 25-year-old Taylor Anthony Mazzanti in connection with the beating of a man outside the same mosque Orlando nightclub shooter Omar Mateen attended. Being killed, you know, yeah. it's, uh, women's and I, hijabs are being, being ripped off. off. I mean, yeah, Violence just, is yeah. escalating, and yeah. I'm sure he doesn't want to be uh, contributing to that. Absolutely. Yeah, let's go on.